the next day here again i've been saying that the last few videos on a little bit of a daily roll here so yesterday we had a failed attempt at trying to fix a small rust spot on my wife's truck yes we did technically grind out the rust and do the body filler but the product did not turn out exactly what we were hoping for essentially i'm just gonna have to wait until i get the proper color i'm gonna do a little rough sanding on that spot again work it down a bit and then try to get it with the proper color and if that's a failed attempt then we're just gonna wait until we get it professionally fixed but we are going to be working on something that i do know how to do very well and i've done it lots and lots of times on lots of different trucks so the frame of this truck is one of the things that we like about this vehicle so we have found lots of trucks luckily over the years that have very very solid frames and these dodges it can be really hard to find them depending on where in the country you're looking because a lot of people just don't maintain their trucks to the highest level to prevent salt from absolutely eating them up which I get some people just don't have the time for it. They just got to work their truck constantly and don't have time for the small crap. But it is one of those things that if you take good care of them, they can last you so much longer. We're going to be taking a wire brush to this frame because it's really not that bad yet. For the most part, it's just got a little bit of scaling starting in a couple of spots, like a little surface rust. We are going to take our attempt at wire brushing down the frame in every crack and crevice that we can get to. And then after that, making sure it's all wiped clean and then spraying it down with some like high quality epoxy. This anti-rust protective enamel, tough and durable, superior coverage, anti-fading clog-free nozzle. It's flat black and it is supposed to prevent rust from spreading. But of course you have to try your hardest to get the rust off the frame as much as you can. And the next step of this process, cause I know there's gonna be comments, that's not gonna prevent your truck from rusting if you're gonna drive it in the salt anyways. Well, of course, if you still drive it through the salt, you're still gonna have a problem. You can at least stop the current cancerous spreading on the frame by wire brushing it down, sanding it, putting this kind of stuff on there, and then oil bathing the frame. We're not gonna do that today, but in another video I had made, I showed you guys how I try to prevent rust from taking place on our trucks the best that we can, which is taking the used motor oil, mixing it with a little bit of diesel fuel, not gasoline, a little bit of diesel fuel, and absolutely coating every square inch of the frame, the backs of the rockers, the cab corners, the bottoms of the doors, like all the notorious places for rotting out, sticking it all up in the frame and just pumping it full of fluid and oil and just coating everything with that used oil. And what that's gonna do is it's going to highly prevent rust from spreading anywhere else on the truck and putting a stop to it as long as you maintain that let's say once or twice per year and the cool thing about it is it's free you can take the used oil out of your truck when you do an oil change and spread it all over the vehicle now do it at your own discretion it is not technically looked at as a good thing environmentally to do because you do have to then let your truck sit for a couple of days in the driveway dripping used motor oil all over so i recommend you not do it too close to your house if you have a well because you know you don't want that stuff getting into your water system it's messy it's very messy and uh it can make a real mess so just be mindful of where you do it and how you do it it would honestly almost be best if you can like back it into a shop on a huge tarp and do your oil coating and then just pull the truck off of it to catch all that oil from causing too much of a mess and then if you get like those cheap plastic tarps you can just pitch it, you know what I mean, in your trash or whatever, that way it doesn't end up getting into your uh, water system somehow or whatever, or your animal's water system if you have livestock and stuff. So anyways, be smart about it, but that's a really good method and we're gonna do that method and continue that method with this truck so that we can try to maintain its clean underside as best we can because we want this truck to last for Reagan for as long as she decides to keep it. <laughs> Tight fit. It is a snug fit, but it does fit. It's slightly at an angle right now. I mean, it is. it was so close. I mean, it's an inch away from that piece of metal. Uh, the light folded down awkwardly like that, like it's not supposed to, but the smallest and lowest spot was right here. I mean, it was really close. You can see somebody else tried to back something in at one point and uh, didn't quite fit. That'll actually probably make a slight decision making process there also on the tire setup that we go with on this truck for her because right now it is it hardly fits and so i would hate to put anything taller on this truck 
that would hinder the ability for it to fit. So I'm actually gonna take a tape measure and see how high these tires are because we might have to either stay with the same size and just maybe get something that's a little wider and a little bit meatier or get something that's slightly shorter so we don't have any problems with it getting in the garage. You can see here again my failed attempt at fixing this rust spot. I don't know if I'd say it's failed for fixing the rust spot, um, but the color matching is terrible standing at like this angle you can't really notice because the paint kind of looks darker with the reflections and the lighting anyways but once you get down you like crap listen you don't always get good at something on your first go around okay just like lots of other things i've tried to do it sometimes takes several failed attempts before you get good at something and i'm not saying i'm trying to get good at body work but if little teeny tiny things like that on personal vehicles and i would just like to address it it would be kind of handy to know, at least for a real small repairs. It is such a pretty truck for what she paid for it. So here's the process. We got tie under here with your wire brush. And what we're going to be doing is just trying to get all the scaly crap off. And he's got a small handheld brush for the small areas. And just getting the flaky residue off as much as you can. Without sandblasting, you really can't get all the cracks and crevices perfectly. But that's also part of the reason for the oil undercoating is to get in all those cracks and crevices to prevent further rust damage uh, but for now he's going to start working on that we're going to start to rattle up some of those cans of that anti-rust enamel coating and then i'm just going to start to paint areas after he gets them sanded and that's going to be the process for the most part this truck is really clean there's the rockers I mean, it's got a little bit of, it's got some surface rust starting, but I think it's early enough in the stages where with some wire brushing, some painting, with some oil, we should be able to save this one from getting any worse. front to back all the scaly stuff and this frame was it was pretty nice i already showed you guys beforehand and in the video picking up the truck but there were still some spots that was a little scaly the whole front half super clean midway couple scaly spots the most scaly stuff was under the back end which is where a lot of this came from but here's what we're looking at this is we put the tarp down so we could collect this this is all the rust that we were able to sand off of this frame which yeah, it looks like a lot, but it's really not that much. I mean, you're talking about a truck from 2007. It's really not that bad, but I did want to show this to you guys because I know there's some people out there that are like, you know, if you don't show all the rust you scaled off the frame, they're like, oh, you're just painting over rust. It's like, no, we're not just painting over rust. We're trying to get all the loose, flaky, grimy stuff off and then coating it so you're not just layering paint over top of rust. But then after that, we did the painting and now that we're done with the painting in a couple weeks here i'm probably going to do this thing a fluid film oil bath and wreath as i explained in the beginning of the video and that is the secret to actually like keeping it from expanding any further so not too bad though i mean we got a decent amount off pretty much everything we could easily get off is what we got off and then we'll show you around underneath here it looks pretty good it's a little bit cold out here <laughs> 42 degrees outside bro it's not bad now that you're done warming up your hands, okay? So here's what we got going on under here, Bill. 
I can't really see anything until I get down here. Let me, let me get down. Okay. As you can see, we did get it all coated up. And of course, it's not perfect, okay? It's just mostly to make it look a little bit better and get rid of the scaly stuff and give it some kind of a base coat. The main secret to this is going to be coating it with oil. I've done it in another video. It's messy, but it works. And then if you look on the backs of the rockers, there's all these holes, you see? Not rust holes, but like holes from the factory, like this one, this one, whatever. And then there's these little drain holes too. You can actually fill these with freaking oil. Same with like all these holes up in here, any holes in the frame that are factory. Like the holes up around the cab mounts too, if you wanna see those. Like the hole right there, the holes in there. Fill any of those holes you can get to with oil. Coat your floorboards. I mean, just fill any hole you can with that fluid, oil. Oil, transmission fluid, all that type of stuff. Again, be safe with how you dispose of it or let it drip. You don't wanna do anything hazardous and hurt anybody or hurt yourself with your water sources and stuff, or your animals. It'll keep your truck from rotting. As long as you do it once or twice a year, it should save your truck from rotting to crap and being worth just about nothing in 10 years of driving in the salt. So that's that's the secret sauce. Cause Ty was over here like in the first half when we started working on this rust spot and I told him to look at that. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, nice. Yeah, it's a little bit on the, <laughs> it's a little bit on the horrible <laughs> side actually. <laughs> See now it doesn't look so bad because it's so dark anymore. <laughs> I, 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 I the paint so match isn't really, it's not really the paint match isn't there now i already told him i'm probably gonna like mask it all off give it a real rough sanding down maybe try it again with the filler and then get the proper paint code applied and it should be good it'll at least look a whole lot better than that that just stands out too bad i mean it's very just it's very obvious something is passed when it's that obviously on another note, do not forget, it is your last 24 hour reminder to enter for the first gen. And it is also your last 24 hour reminder to enter for Rosine at the same time as the first gen. Sunday night, which when you're seeing this, if you're seeing it the day it goes up, that should be tomorrow night. But check this because you could be seeing it on Sunday. And if you are, it's the last full day to enter for both trucks at the same time. Check your emails from us. We've got some bonuses in there for you. Our highest entry multiplier is live regardless. So every $1, 30 entries towards winning the first gen, 12 out Cummins, and Rosine, the 24 valve Cummins, plus $5,000 cash will come with each truck. It's two separate drawings. One drawing for this truck, and another drawing for that truck. Two separate drawings, two separate winners potentially. You could either get lucky enough to get drawn twice and win both trucks, or you just have two separate winners and Either way is really cool. You're doubling your odds of winning a truck right now when you enter because you're getting the highest entry multiplier, our highest entry bonuses, and you're getting entered for two trucks for the price of one. There's no better deal out there right now, so hit the link in the description below, lmpgear.com, get entered for the trucks, and Sunday, March 19th at 11.59 p.m. Thanks so much, guys, for all the love and all the support, and I'll catch you in the next video.